G'day and welcome back to Survival. We've got the framework down for our solar tower. Let's actually make some real progress this time. We need to have a couple of solar panels finished on each side, and then we need to get the timer block and the programmable block. We need the solar panels on each side so that the programmable block script can actually pick up where the sun is coming from. Without the solar panels, it has no way of telling that. So if we don't have them, the rotors will do a whole load of nothing. Which isn't what we want. We want them to actually work. So what I'm almost certainly going to end up doing is grinding one of the solar panels off the roof and temporarily using its solar cells to build one of the other ones onto the tower. Yeah, that's probably not ideal, but it's taking so long to build these solar cells and I really don't want to wait to get this thing functional. There's no point grinding down any solar panels just yet. We still need the programmable block and the timer block anyway. Let's get those on our hotbar and then we'll need to grab a couple of things from the cargo container. I'm thinking at the moment, even though it may not seem the best position long term, in fact, it's a terrible position long term, but let's place the timer block and the programmable block in the middle of the floor. I'm sure we'll be able to move them later. It'll work out, maybe? Oh, oh, oh. It'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Everything's fine. That's enough stuff that the timer block's finished. Just need to grab a couple more things so that we can get the programmable block finished as well. But I don't have another display. I'm gonna have to make one. And that means stopping the solar cell production briefly. Since each one takes so long, I'm going to wait till one finishes before I cancel them. So we'll queue those up and then add the solar cells back into the queue. Okay, so the displays are now made. Then we needed a couple more things for the programmable lock. We needed uh, large tail tubes, motors, and... Actually, that might have been all of it. And then we'll be good to go. Alright, got a programmable block and got a... Timer. So we're ready to go from that point of view. Now we just need solar cells in order to finish off that other one. So let's grind down this one over here. There we are. And put any extras I've picked up back into the one that's almost complete. Two solar panels ready to go. That means we can now set up our programmable block and our timer to get those arms moving. So to set this up, similar to what we did getting the inventory mod to go. So let's browse our workshop, grab Izzy's solar alignment script, check the code. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the default settings on this one. Remember an exit. Let's set our timer block and let's give this one a name so that we remember that it's for the solar panels. Set our delay down to one, silence it so we don't hear it beeping, set up its actions. We want it to start itself. We also want it to, where is it? There we go. Run this with no argument in the box. And now we start it. And we should, if we look outside, start seeing this moving shortly in order to optimize its position. Hmm, is it moving? Uh, mm. Uh, let's check the programmable block. I think I might have done something wrong. I know what I did wrong. I forgot to name our rotors. Solar rotors. That's what the script needs, script needs them called. Now. Found it. So it's going to try and optimize their position. There we go. It's working! It's working! I only made one mistake in my efforts to get it working. It's a miracle. <sighs> Excellent. Now we just need a whole truckload of sol solar cells so that we can build a full-on farm. Have we got enough for me to finish off that one on the roof yet? Not quite. I think I needed 20, so I need another 7 before it'll be finished. 
Hmm. Another 11. It's 24 I needed. How much power have we got left in the base now that that arc furnace is running? Five hours. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I think that'll last us plenty of time. I really don't want to leave the base until we've got that solar panel finished. And then I'm going to take the truck down back to the iron mine and get a whole lot more dug up so that we can finish welding the scaffolding on this. And so we can expand out this base a bit more into the mountain and start building things like extra refineries and other bits and pieces so that we can really get things going. May as well mine this out while I'm waiting. Clear out a bit more space. Okay. Well, that's enough solar cells for that panel, which means it can be finished before I leave. As I wanted that extra little bit of power generation before I go back down the iron mines. Back for more mining goodness. So we've at least doubled our power output. Should be nice. Let's get going. Ooh. Do not like these settings. I've always had this awful habit of adjusting my suspension settings on the fly and then getting completely confused as to which button's done what and end up with these really, really weird suspension settings. But even with weird settings, it's still going to be a lot easier to drive in daytime. Might even put the pedal to the metal. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get down there as fast as we can. See if we can make this round trip before it gets dark. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, that was lucky. That was very lucky. I might be going a bit too fast right now. I might definitely be going a bit too fast right now. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, 40 meters a second is probably a bit too quick. That looks like it'll have a drop off on the outside. Let's go around. Oh wow, it is so nice being able to see things, you know, before the headlights illuminate them. I, you know, more than... 15 meters ahead of me. Even though my headlights are set to shine out much further than that, they don't seem to help me much. And what's on that? Oh, that side's a bit rough too, isn't it? Well, let's go over here for the smoother bit. I think I'll load up on a full car load of iron this time. It's probably... Well, it's definitely the thing I need the most of. And I want to at least have a reasonable stock of it. So that it's not the mineral that's holding me back while building the rest of the stuff that we need to build for the base. And I only got really a kind of fairly small amount on that first trip. Lock ourselves in place. And digging, digging, digging I go. Okay, so that's pretty much full of iron now. I think I've actually changed what I want to do next. Instead of heading towards upgrading that rover, I reckon I might just go straight toward getting a flying miner. And for that, we're going to need lots of motors. And I, from memory, believe that motors need nickel and iron. So let's get some nickel to fill up the rest of the ship. My personal inventory is now full of nickel. The rover is basically as full as it can get. The sun is setting. I think it's time to head home. Have a look. Have I filled it up? Pretty much. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That's about as good as I want to do. What we're going to do is... Oh. Going to need a bit more strength in that suspension. We're probably going to need an awful lot more power to even make it up any of these hills. And some headlights would probably be nice too. Let's try and make it home before it gets completely pitch dark. I can sort of see in front of me. I can definitely see better than I was able to those nights when I was traveling. And this is another example of where I really do like the Space Just Got Real mod. These shadows are dark enough that they're a worry, but they're not so pitch dark that they kind of look weird. And that's definitely been a problem in some other lighting mods that I've used. Oh man, 
I should have stuck with driving during the daylight all, the, all along. This is much easier. Can actually see ahead to where the terrain is smooth. Follow sensible driving paths. Give that little bit of extra help to my terrible sense of direction. And believe me, it needs every little bit of help I can possibly find. It's why I need to make sure the compass on my phone is always working. Well, gonna need a lot more power to get up this hill. And now that I'm climbing straight up a hill pointing directly at the sun, I'm quite glad that the flares are slightly reduced with the space just got real mod. No JJ Abrams here. Ah, and we can see our solar array. Still looks pretty spindly, but maybe I'll be able to come up with a better plan for upgrading it in the future to make it look a little less spindly and more robust and tough. Like it might actually be able to survive a brief attack from an enemy. Ah, wow, that was probably my quickest trip home yet. Glad to see that I'm learning. Although, now that I say that, maybe it's all due to the lighting, not that I'm actually learning. Meh. Oh well. And lock. Oh, I think we might be too heavy for the locks to even stop us from moving. Okay, so how has everything gone in my absence? Where are our resources up to? We've got how many panels? 44 cells made. What have we run out of? Nickel. Lucky I mined some more nickel. We need the arc furnace. Which is still producing as much nickel as it possibly can. Not quite fast enough for the assembler though. Definitely low on the old iron as well. Time to unload the truck. And then come up with our plans for what to do next. And this is where I love the magic of editing. And the truck is empty now. There we go. Almost got enough solar panels for another... Solar cells for another panel. That's good. What else do we need to do? We need to get... A whole bunch of motors, I think. So we need cobalt, nickel, and iron for those. What else do we need? We need gyroscopes. Silicon, nickel, and iron. Yep. And we need a cockpit. I don't want to scavenge the rover just in case I end up missing a piece and then I'm stuck without a vehicle. And I really don't like the idea of running all the way down the hill, mining by hand, and running all the way back up. That just seems like pain. I want to add on at least one more solar cell before I start trying to build a miner. Assuming that is the next thing I can really manage to do. Hmm, have to think. Still definitely do need the solar panel, so we'll grab the stuff we need and place it down. Computers. Need some of those. And we need... Oh no, do we have any large steel tubes? We out. No. Oh, that's not good. Ah. This shop's never got the stuff that I need when I need it. I got any large steel tubes in it? Oh, ages in. Hmm. Should have thought that one through beforehand. Definitely should have thought that one through beforehand. And this is why queuing up a bunch of blocks or the components needed for a bunch of blocks might not have been my brightest of ideas. Handy to get an idea of how many minerals you need, but not so useful as an actual queue. I think this side gets the power first and for the longest, so well, well, for the longest I should say. We'll build it first. Or, you know, just do it for any arbitrary reason that I could come up with at the time, because I couldn't think of a great logical reason to start on one side or the other. So I went with something that could even change if the rotor spins the wrong way. Ugh. 
since we're up here, let's check how easy it might be to walk down these stairs. Oh. Slightly difficult since I'm missing some pieces. Although, luckily, it seems I can still just about make it around each corner. I will have to remember to add those at some point in the future. Huh. It's mostly lined up still. How convenient. Oh, just four more solar cells to go and we'll have an extra panel finished. This is very, very slow, but it's necessary. Well, that's going to take some time, so let's think about how we're going to do this. I want to drill back into the hill, but I want that to be mostly hidden. So if I grind down this piece and instead have, let's use, yeah, we'll use that. That way from the outside, it'll still be sort of hidden. And if we use these pieces, and I can't tell which way around that is from that viewpoint, so nice like so. That should, from the outside, give us a little indent, which then disappears into the mountain. Perfect. What I was after. Then up in the roof. And grind this one down because it doesn't need to be there anymore. And we place maybe we can place glass in the roof. In this little corridor piece. So I'll probably move all of this machinery deep into the base rather than having it all out here. At some point. Try and create like a full industrial section with lots of refineries and all that jazz so that I can build lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. If we drill out these extra bits. Just want to be careful that I don't drill out so much that I have to totally change my design though. And this is why I love having a jetpack. I wouldn't be against the jetpack being a little more weak, but being able to reach this ceiling without having to build scaffolding for it that's a big, big bonus in my book. I think this is about deep enough, so that's where we'll end this little corridor and have a doorway to access further into the base and get deeper into the base. Half block there, half block there. Then we'll have two, uh, two by one windows up the top. And around this side, let's do something similar to what we had on the other side. Grind that bit away and try and create that little indent that still has that feeling of this being an add-on tunnel. That's not so obvious that it's kind of hiding a massive base. Ah, ah can't see what it's doing. Yeah, that's the bottom one. I'm having some real difficulties with this rotation of the missing corner piece. It's the top one. And we'll eventually move that arc bonus, I'm sure. Okay. So that'll be our little corridor. We'll move these timer blocks and things later. Even with them in the way, I can kind of get a feel for how this space is going to look and work. And I think I want to have a door in here. Hmm about how to build the armor around the door and what sort of door to use. Do I want the door in the center or do I want to have double doors or two doors? Hmm. Let's have a look at actually what doors we've got. Door. Could use one of these industrial doors. Yeah. Use one of these offset like that, and then use one of these on each side. One like that, and one like that, and one there. And thanks to half blocks, we can actually make this look half decent. And this is something I have wanted to do around a door for so long. 
Like so. Huzzah. That's what we like. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. That'll work quite nicely. This timer block could not be in a worse place right now. Uh, oh well. Oh, we should have those solar panels finished now so we can finish that one off. Cancel it. Yep. Let's cancel those. Let's get a bunch of this other stuff built. I'm going to cancel all of this and I'm going to order it manually. I really need those large steel tubes. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Let's get a bunch of each thing. So for a mining ship we want a cockpit and we want a bunch of other stuff. And if I put all of this into the assembler, we might get a bit of an estimate of how much minerals, how much refined minerals we'll actually need in order to build it. Which might be able to guide our mining a little bit better so that we're not mining unnecessarily by hand things that we don't need in order to get the ship built because the ship could mine it if we can actually get it finished first. I think that made sense. Made sense to me anyway. Let's go with it. So a few more blocks to add to the list to make sure we've got all of the necessary components. And... Oh... That is needing a lot. I... Hmm... We're going to need to do a fair bit of mining in order to get this miner finished. That is a lot of nickel that I do not have. Got the silicon and probably have the cobalt, but I definitely don't have the nickel and the iron. Ugh. That's a problem. Maybe I need another arc furnace. I don't have power. Ah. Let's see how much iron we got. Maybe I will build another arc furnace. Do I have space? Could place another one here temporarily. It's probably worth it for the time. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think having more arc furnaces will help. More production is always better if you can afford it. And right now, we cannot afford the components for a refinery and upgrade modules. So the arc furnace is a great compromise, I reckon. And having two of them, that's got to be better. I guess. Okay. One doing nickel, one doing iron. When the iron one's finished, it can do the cobalt. Now we are definitely going to have a power problem. What do we got left? Two hours. Okay. I have a thought. Where is our assembler? And... Can we get at some of its upgrade ports? If we can, we might be able to improve our power usage by a reasonable margin anyway, and extend the life of our batteries. Oh, I can get at some of the upgrade ports. This is good. Yeah, let's try and do that. It's going to make everything ugly for the time being, but power savings should probably be worth it. And I guess I shouldn't be worried about how pretty things are just now. This is supposedly a survival situation, should just do what's going to work best. But as soon as I can get pretty, I'm going pretty. These power efficiency modules will be incredibly useful in my current situation. How much difference have they made so far though? And now we see the downside in me not using a crosshair. But maybe we could get another power upgrade module onto the refinery. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's get rid of the table and chairs. We'll move them. As it's still handy to have them as a power estimate rather than having to build another LCD screen. And they should be able to fit over here for now. And I think with them there I should still be able to walk around them to get to what I need to get to which is pretty much only the med bay anyway. And then we can try and get a power module onto this refinery and increase its efficiency. 
This could be good. This could be very good. I might be able to survive a lot longer on this. Be nice. Yay! Got one on the refinery now. Excellent. Probably should maybe have gone for a yield, but I think at the moment power is going to be what we're tightest on. And with the arc furnaces, I need power more. Let's head back outside and let's see if we can get a few more, get a second upgrade, power upgrade module onto that assembler. I think if we take out part of the roof, we don't need to get rid of the solar panel and we can still get another power efficiency module onto this assembler. Yay! More power efficiency for everybody! What's going on? What way have I got this rotated? There we go. Hopefully with a few of these power efficiency modules finished, I'll get closer to the point where we might, might, just be able to survive through a whole night on our power generation alone. But I think I'm going to need a few more solar panels for that to be achieved. But at least we started with enough charged batteries that that won't be a problem for a couple more days. Look at our control panel. Our assembler, assembler is now 150% power efficient. It's using 374. And what about our refinery? They start at, I think both start at 550 or 560. So that's a decent drop in power usage. That's good. Ah, so from 374 down to 250. Excellent. Much, much better efficiencies. And now, what have we got in terms of refined goods? How are we going with that nickel? Got a little bit. I think we probably should keep focusing on our solar cells. I think I was getting a bit over-enthusiastic thinking I could possibly build any um, thinking that I could possibly build what am I thinking? Ah, I think I was getting a bit over enthusiastic thinking that I could build a miner not really achievable just yet we need 12 so that's 10 yeah 10 more get all of the ancillary little bits and pieces first then we can get the solar cells at the end while it's night time I may as well go up there and place down the rest of these while they're not moving which will make my life easier I feel like I've made some real progress now we've got some power efficiency modules on the base that's going to make all these solar cells so much more long-term useful and once we finish all of these, I think we'll be in pretty good stead. As always, there is plenty more to come, including hopefully me eventually building a mining vessel in this game. Or maybe upgrading the rover. Something. I will do something. So I'll see you then.